I'm here with Naira Chamberlain at the Centre for Mathematical Sciences in Cambridge. Um, Naira, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Yes, hello, my name is Naira Chamberlain. I work for Babcock International Group. I'm the principal consultant for data science and mathematical modelling. And what that entails means that I write mathematical algorithms that solve complex industrial and engineering problems. Wow, it sounds impressive. So what is it that you like most about doing mathematics? I like the challenge when you see a problem for the first time. For the first few moments, you haven't got a clue what to do. And then it's the case of actually you're engaging that problem, you're attacking that problem. And I like solving the problem because, like I said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. So could you tell us about your favourite mathematical moment? My favourite mathematical moment will have to be my PhD. Now, a PhD is a subject that you do, like you do some research. You tend to do it after your degree and your, your master's. And what you're trying to do is you try to add significant knowledge to the field of mathematics. Yeah? So when you first go into it, you're thinking, oh, surely this is just like A level. You just do a question and you find the answer at the, end, at the back of the book. But it's not like that. You, at first, you haven't got a clue what you're going to do. And it's just like you're asking all these questions and saying, what is my approach, what I'm trying to do, what are the objectives? And then that's, the more the questions you ask, then you start to tend to focus in what is your research is all about, what is my research objective, what I'm trying to achieve. So in my case, it was a, it was a case of, right, we have a network and how can we actually play games over the network and how will the network influence the game and how will the game influence the network? And at first we was trying to, myself and my supervisor, we was trying to find out what is the best game to put on a network? And we decided to go for the gambler's ruin problem. Now, the gambler's ruin problem has been around for the last 350 years, and we had to actually extend its rule to play on a network. And because of the, the nature of the network, we no longer modeling at the, the behavior of a gambler per se. We was now modeling the behavior of businesses in a competitive environment. And so when we was actually doing that, what we found that is that the, there was a, like a specialized result, a very special result came out. So when I came into the exam, the examiner said, oh, that's a blip, that must be a blip. Can you now go ahead and prove to me that it's actually a universal law? So I have to go away, come up with some pure mathematical theory to show that actually what I found was actually not a fluke, it was actually a universal law. And that was my favourite moment. So do you think that it's important to be creative in doing mathematics? Yeah, mathematics is very creative. Somebody once told me that mathematics is the poetry of logical ideas. And actually, Hilbert once said, and he's quoting an old French mathematician, that if you can't explain your mathematical theory to the first man you meet in the street, then your mathematical theory is incomplete. So using those two statements, the way you actually solve your mathematics, you have to look at it in a very creative manner. And also how you actually explain your mathematical solution and approach has to be explained in a very creative manner. For instance, one time I was working for a, a company and they wanted to know about their competitors. And I said I could use mathematical modeling to predict the strategies of their competitors. And they didn't really believe me that. They're thinking, how is this impossible? And I said, well, think about it like this. Imagine you're fighting a, an invisible boxer in a boxing match. Now, you don't know nothing about the boxer. You go in and the ring's empty and you're thinking, how can I win this match? But what you don't realise is that every time you actually engage that boxer, you learn something about them. You learn, what, are they a southpaw or are they right-handed? Or do they jab or do they work on an inside? And then every time you actually engage in and learn something about that boxer, you can actually develop a strategy that's saying, OK, if I move into the corner, I know that that boxer's going to come onto me. And then I can actually swing around and then I have a chance at actually knocking them out. And it's the same way in the, comp in the competition. Every time you lose customers to a, a competitor, you actually learn something about your competitor. And that's how you can actually use mathematics. It's about, and that's a new way of actually using the mathematics and the poetry of logical ideas. And you can explain to the first man about the street. So it's even very, very complicated. You use these analogies, the poetry of logical ideas.